Yeah. I wake up, flex, thumbs down, and check. No drip, this wet. Tell them run it up. So we are back at it again. What are we doing today? I know you're excited about this. Yeah, this is my idea. We're going to the historic voodoo museum in New Orleans. And I am all about this stuff. Yeah, not that not, I do it. I just like think it's really cool. Not me. I don't I don't mess with that. It but freaks him out. Yes, I'll do it for you though. It's pretty cool. It's part of the heritage, part of the culture here. So let's just check it out and see what we see. So excited. Oh, and it is one of the only um, museums in the world that's dedicated entirely to voodoo. And the tickets are only eight bucks each, so not yeah. a bad deal. That's that's kind of so. And you can book it online, right? Yep, I booked yeah. it yesterday. I feel like this is like one of the only things in New Orleans that's not like, not cash only. Yeah, we were able to do it online, so that was nice. But we'll see about like souvenirs and stuff. I don't know about that. Oh, uh, I hope it's not cash. All right, let's go check it out. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and days. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, all record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record, all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record, all record. I still want to act, not the ghost. We are in the first room of the Voodoo Museum, and right here are a bunch of voodoo dolls. And what I learned is that most voodoo dolls are not used for evil purposes. They're used for like love and what was it? Love, healing, success. So I guess it's a misconception that they're always used for like, you know, you see people in the movies like stabbing a voodoo doll to make someone. <laughs> Voodoo doll of mom. Yeah, totally throw. It never worked anyway. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, keep. Ah! Alright, so don't mind me. I have this in my car because it's really tight in here and I don't want to knock everything over. I don't want to touch anything, honestly, because I don't want anything to transfer me. Because I don't do I don't mess with that. Well, this is the Roger room. Supposedly it's a, like an evil spirit, I believe. So this is a cross between a French werewolf and I believe an African vampire. And like long story short, it's scared. it takes souls, but it's scared of frogs and you can destroy it by throwing salt on it. And the funny thing is, it's kind of like the basilisk from Harry Potter, where if you look it in the eyes, it'll steal your soul. So that's a little creepy. The money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause check out problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money. The press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. So we have this little corner over here, kind of dedicated to Marie Laveau. And if you don't know who that is, she is one of the most famous um, people associated with voodoo. I actually only knew her from American Horror Story season three, Coven, <laughs> but she was very much a real person and was known as kind of like the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Well, the next needle I use will put a hole in your heart. I did not know that. I thought that character in, in American Horror Story was made up, but I guess she is a real woman in a... It's actually several characters in that season are real historical figures. That's nuts. Like Madame Lalaurie. The Minotaur was always my favorite. Half man, half bull. Yo, that's crazy. It's, this place is like really interesting. I keep feeling like she's gonna like come to life and uh, grab me. <laughs> that would be creepy. Just make sure you don't touch anyone. No. I've been scoring. Cheap does bore me. Blah, blah, you bore me. Caution, morning. I've been scoring. So these are the offerings that they have up here and after the ceremonies that they do you can eat or drink um, the offerings as long as they've been blessed. So we put a little bottle of Sutter Home wine half empty. <laughs> we got some Welch's fruits. 
So this is called a voodoo wishing psalm. What you do is you write your little wish on there and you put it, roll it into your offering and you put it on the tree and you knock nine times on the, on the wood and make a wish. And then once it's granted, you're supposed to thank Marie Laveau for her offerings and her blessings. As you can see, there's a lot of wishes on here. The voodoo ceremony, you're dancing to be able to get possessed by the spirits. And that's so the spirits are able to do things that mortals can do, that they cannot, such as eating, drinking, smoking, having sex. Um, and what I think is really cool, the West African word for sex is jazz, so J-A-S-S but what we know it today is jazz. I think your friend Hannah would really like this. Honestly, yes. like this is really creepy, but I'm not. She loves Ouija boards. No, thank you. So Christopher, you see this? You don't need to come here. Like Laura and <laughs> Hannah can come here by themselves. And Hannah can set up her little Ouija board around the ground. Perfect. Right and do her little crazy dance. <laughs> so I think this is a really cool thing. This is called a horse skull, and it was meant to serve as a warning for people to stay out of certain areas. If they, you saw this on a house, it would mean like there's disease running rampant and stuff like that. So like, stay away. I would say the Voodoo Museum is definitely worth it. So it was about $8 each to go into the museum, and I think it was worth it. It was a really small museum, but I expected that. You see that online. But there was so much packed into it. I wish it was just like a bigger space, so it can like you can spread out, because it, it was just like really tight rooms. Yeah. Like two tight rooms. It was a little bit tight. That's crazy to me that it's one of the only like fully voodoo museums in the world yeah there's a lot of little things that i didn't know like um the word zombie how it just means spirit and it's been twisted a lot by hollywood to be this like insane monster <laughs> walking dead and stuff like that so she says she has to stop for some reason at 12 o'clock and she can't open back up to like 12 30 1 o'clock and i'm like do the spirits need to eat lunch or something <laughs> what? like i'm like what happens you go back there and talk to the spirits no like, they do walking tours of the cemetery. But why does she have to close down the whole thing? Uh, I don't know. It's a little Probably cool. the spirits have to eat lunch. It's I don't a little know. Cool to me. But okay, I'll let her have that. So that pretty much wraps up our time in New Orleans. I know it was pretty quick. It didn't, I hope I really wish it wasn't. I think we did quite a bit while we were here. We did Cafe du Monde, the Voodoo Museum. We spent a day on Bourbon Street and watched all the parades. And now we're about to go buy some New Orleans merch. Yes, we haven't done that yet. So get a few t-shirts and head on home. Yep. We had about seven hour drive. So as we're walking to Bourbon Street to go get some merch before we leave, we just want to say... Let us know in the comments what you guys would do if you came to Bourbon Street. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Let us know what you guys would do if you came to New Orleans for the first time, what you would check out first. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button and also leave a comment down below. Hopefully we can get to like 20 likes on this video, right? <laughs> That'd be awesome. But anyway guys, thank you again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace on Bourbon Street pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, See you guys later. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up.